Hey, ¿qué tranza que te cuesta? Espero que estén muy bien el día de hoy aquí, Urbicho. Bienvenidos, señores, a este nuevo video. Este video, señores, va a ser un video especial porque tenemos a un invitado, el cual no había estado desde hace mucho tiempo en el canal. Uh, ben, did you understand something about what I said? No, I didn't understand a single word you said. Ah, okay. So, uh, I just told my people that you were a long time ago in my channel and you are back. Yeah, I am. Hello. Okay. So, we've had Black Ops 3 now for a few months and, of course, that Shadows of Evil and the Giant and more recently we're having the Ryzen Drac as well. And, uh, yeah, yeah, in a few weeks. Yeah, a few weeks, not long now. And I thought I'd kind of just ask you what you think about Black Ops 3 so far, what you think about the storyline, where it's going, um, kind of where it's been, and what you'd like to see in Drak. specifically. Okay, um, so about the story, in Black Ops 2, I really began to think that they didn't know what the fuck were they doing with the storyline. Yeah. Like, uh, timelines and jumps and yeah. this side to this other side. So it's like, do you know what the fuck's happening? Or you're just like throwing maps randomly to see how can we uh, piece them together, right? But uh, That's how felt. yeah, now in Black Ops 3, I think they may have an idea of where all this is going. Like, I think it's maybe not reaching a conclusion, but um, some of the mysteries that there there have been since World of War until Black Ops 2, they're kind of being solved. Um, some uh, puzzle pieces are finally coming to place. So I like where this is going. Um, in Deras and Drag, I feel like it's going to be Black Ops 1 over again. I mean, like following Rick Tuffin to do something like a major scheme, a, a plan yeah. he, he wants to do. So it's going to be like Black Ops 1 uh, going to this place and finding this and then going this and finding this. And finally, we're going to, I don't know, have the ending with the uh, I don't know if a cinematic ending like Origins or maybe Moon, it was like a very yeah. good ending. So I, I'm really hoping they do that. I mean, Derizen Drac for me, it from kind of just seeing it, I guess it feels like it kind of feels like the beginning of everything. Like I know mm -hmm. it, it's not technically in terms of the the storyline. It's just there's so much, there's so many question marks at the beginning of the storyline, like that don't um, that don't have answers. Mm -hmm. I think Derizen Drac is probably the best map so far to answer a lot of the original mm -hmm. questions and it kind of draws a line in the sand between um, the old storylines and what's going on now mm -hmm. because there's like there's a clear distinction I think a lot of people find it hard to understand that there's only one storyline there's only mm -hmm. one timeline so time is always moving forward it's the only point at which time went seriously backwards was when Rick Toffin first discovered he could go back to Shangri-La and was suddenly in this jungle in the mm -hmm. middle of nowhere other than that it's always constantly gone forward the hard thing to understand is where the maps are placed in that timeline but once yeah. you grasp that it's quite simple the only thing i worry about now is that with things like shadows of evil and and to be honest origins and the giant and horizon drac in its little kind of bubble, bubble um yeah yeah it's i don't think that's helping like i think in terms of treyarch there must have been a simpler way of telling um What's happening, this story right? <laughs> yeah because yeah. I mean, it's really cool that they're they're introducing all this mythological stuff, and that continues vastly into Derizon Drac, which is nice in a slightly different way. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, the Apothecan stuff's still there, but it feels like um, there's something far greater. And mm -hmm. I don't know. It's just I'm very worried because they say that there's going to be some form of conclusion in Derizon Drac, and I don't know what that is. But mm -hmm. I worry that it's it's actually going to leave more questions. You know? Yeah. And well, I think it's it's something we're used to, right? If we receive a map, we have some questions from the previous map, we solve that questions and then we have even more questions in that map so i think it's part of of like Treyarch works i really don't know if i like that but that's that's how they do it so the interesting to thing about the rise and drag and specifically that that team of people from um the giant and origins that that set of characters is that Rick Toffin in that set of characters, and I didn't know this until recently, Rick Toffin in that set of characters is the Rick Toffin that we know from Doris. He's just a younger version. All of the rest of them are in a completely different, like, Versions. continuum. Yeah. yeah. But he's the only character who transcends, transcends. or is, is a part of all of these little pockets of time and dimension, mm -hmm. which is really interesting if you think about it. He's the only person who has a specific purpose that stems back to Shinonuma and Doris. Like he's, mm -hmm. in terms of what's going on now, he's the only person who's vitally He knows what's important. happening, right? 
Yeah, the other thing which is really interesting is that Richtofen, this Richtofen that we're presented with now, doesn't give a fuck about <laughs> the characters surrounding him, the ones in Der and Drac, he doesn't give a fuck about the transit characters, he doesn't care. The only characters he's potentially looking at saving are the original characters, including the original Samantha, the German one, mm -hmm. and the original Maxis as well, because there's too many Maxises now. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. It's getting a little bit weird. And Maxis is unfortunate because he just keeps dying. As well. yeah, every it's, time, uh, every time. I know, he's like Kenny from South Park. <laughs> yeah. he's, uh, he's unfortunate. Yeah, it's just an interesting kind of turn of events, and I don't know quite how Treyarch are going to pick up from the end of Horizon Drag to continue this. Like, I, I'd i always like this idea that the old characters, as in the Darice characters, yeah. and the origin characters will meet, and of course they'd only be seven because one of those characters is dead because Richtofen killed yeah, Richtofen exactly. when okay. it came through the giant. So that would be really nice to have that confrontation at some point in the very near future but um i'm not sure exactly how that present be presented what do you think about that uh, well i i've always had like the question and it's something that haunts me like you say rick tuffin doesn't care about these other three characters yes. he, he just wants to do what he knows he has to do like he yeah. just wants to follow the plan but uh, like the other characters are, are focused on awakening the test subjects and i and i've i've always have the question if these test subjects are actually there or if they're them but the past version, you know, or the future version, the Darius version of them, if they are the test subjects that Richtofen worked on, on the Eagle's Nest, you know? So yep. I don't know if that's related with what you're telling of maybe in some point they're gonna meet and they're gonna see like both versions of them, you know? And something interesting also is, I don't know if there's, if it's just like a nice Easter egg for uh, these hardcore zombie fans, but in the giant, even though they are the origins version of the characters, some of the quotes are actually um, originally uh, from Teres, from like the drunk Nikolai or from the um, crazy Takio. And some of the quotes are taken from that um, map, if we can say so, and placed into the giant, even so they are not the same versions. So I don't know if it, if it has something to do if it's just like a nice little easter egg over there. But yeah, I think no, it's no, 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 no. getting there's, interesting. There's, there's a progression. Like from Origins, they felt like brand new characters. Like they felt very different from yeah, the characters completely. we knew. But then in, you're, you're right, in the Giant, like the early rounds, they're still kind of new and confused about mm -hmm. what's going on. Mm -hmm. Then all of a sudden, like they start switching back to yeah. what they think is going on, which is very interesting. What you're saying now, your subscribers should take note about what you're saying right now because what you just said two minutes ago is vitally important, I think. Very, okay. very important. It was actually going to be the thing I was about to talk about next. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> so I'm very happy you just did that for me. But, um... <laughs> Yeah, and I think that that extends, well, it does extend further into Derizon track, like that whole, it's kind of wearing off, mm -hmm. like it's kind of like a, a daze, I don't know what the term is but in your language, but mm -hmm. it's kind of like a, a phase that they're going through. It feels like it's slowly and slowly decaying, mm -hmm. and um, mm -hmm. that is going to be vitally important. One last question I have, because this is only going to be a quick little commentary, we can do another yeah, one, yeah. one at some point. Okay. Who do you think the Frozen One could be? Well, that's... That's a good question. That's a very good question. And I... Um, because, I'll tell you now, you can yeah. answer it. You can answer it correctly I can. now. I can. Yes. yes. So, you, don't have to, you don't have to right now, but I'm saying with the information we have... Yeah, yeah, I know. You so can, and the information possible, we've just right? talked about, you can figure out who the Frozen One is. And maybe your subscribers can do it in the comment section. The Frozen One? Yeah. So it's a person, right? Something, Someone we know. <laughs> okay, so that's, that's the mystery, right? There we go. It's been a pleasure talking to you, mate. Ok. Yeah, same, we'll do it same, again same, soon, same. because it's been way too long. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Bueno, señores, eso sería todo por este video. Espero que les haya quedado algo. Espero que hayamos eh, metido un par de ideas interesantes en su cabeza, ya que este es el objetivo de este video. No tanto a información, sino como que aclarar un par de cosas y mencionar las cosas importantes. Uh, thank you, Ben, for being uh, in my channel. Thanks very much for having me. Y gracias a ustedes por ver, señores. Cuídense mucho. Nos vemos después. Adiós.